everyone, this morning a package came through and I know what it is as it's come all the way from Poland and it's the only thing, or I should say things, um, that I've ordered from over there. So, in here we have the Camiani Rosa, um, it's also known as the Polish Stone Oracle, um, and I also have a Polish Tarot deck by Robert L. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name because I know I'll completely butcher it, but I'll show you, um, I'll show you it when we get into there. First here is the stone oracle, which is so tiny and cute, it's lovely. It comes in this thin cardboard box um, with a small standard white book, uh, but it all, is all in Polish, which I knew before purchasing. Um, I did however get in contact with the lovely Kelly over at Truth is in the Story, Truth is in Story I should say, sorry. Um, I will link her channel below and she was kind enough to email me an English translate uh, that her friend had done for her and you have no idea how useful this is. On the back here there is a swirl design in different shades of green. Uh, there's also these three double sided cards that have different crystals on them. Now let's take a look at the cards themselves.
So, as you can see, they are fairly small but very easy to shuffle because of this. And now if we move on to the tarot deck. I know this will probably be quite a bit longer than my usual videos, but there is two decks and I feel it's kind of nice to do them together. I'm not going to lie, the boxes for this deck are rubbish. Uh, they're that bad that they haven't even arrived to me without chunks out of them, but at least the cards themselves are protected. The backs of these cards are actually the only reason I purchased this deck. I think that they may be my favourite backings ever. The colours and the patterns just draw me in, they're just amazing. The first card is an advertisement card, I'm guessing for other products from this publisher. And one thing I must mention about this deck that it doesn't come with any sort of guidebook, not even the useless little white ones. But to be honest, it's not an issue because what I've seen of this deck online, it's very easy to distinguish which card's which because it's so close to the Rider Waite styles and symbology. Now, moving on to the deck. It is quite large as you can probably see, and to compare it, I would say it's slightly larger than the original Rider Waite and Universal Rider Waite decks, but I could be wrong.
I must say, I am so happy that I finally got this deck for my collection. Like I say, the backs are just incredible, and they may not be to everyone's taste, but they're definitely my favourite backings I've come across so far. It does feel a little harder to shuffle, as you can probably see I'm struggling a bit even though I'm shuffling portrait. However, if I, if I standard side shuffle them, I can't even fully grasp the card width properly. Thank you for watching this double unboxing. I hope it was helpful for you. If you liked the video, I'd be really grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions about these decks, or would like to request a review, a review of another, feel free to comment below. Thanks again and I hope to see you soon.